Hey, good morning, everyone. I'm enjoying the zoo next door. There's some little bird right there. I'll try to zoom in. I'll put my coffee down. I don't know what kind he is. So we did get a little bird book to kind of identify all these birds because our neighbor, if you don't already know, he's got like a hundred bird feeders over there. And so there's like all kinds of crazy birds. We've got hawks and these little type of birds and stuff. Bell was on a leash. I'm not even dressed yet. I kind of just woke up and yeah. Good morning, everybody. June 21st, 2022. Okay, so we've got about a dozen branches coming out of a single trunk. And also it's not truly a bonsai tree. Bonsai tree would be, you know, a controlled root in a pot. I just want this thing to not look like a giant mass of ugliness. I'm thinking probably what I'm gonna do is thin it down, probably take like these smaller branches and get rid of them. I want I want the exposed trunk at least just kind of get rid of all the dead branches first. And then once we get, once we get this thing thinned out a lot, then I could probably make a better decision on what I want. Cause like all this stuff here is pretty much not dead. Like this one here obviously isn't dead, but a lot of that inner stuff is, I just want to open it up like a lot. So I'll go ahead and run a time lapse here and show you what I did today on this. Yeah, this will be a fun project and hopefully it'll look better when I'm done. Okay, so I'm starting, it's about 9.30 a.m. and it's about 10 minutes into it. And this entire, well, you probably just saw, but this entire thing was kind of full of just branches and like inside there, there's still all kinds of stuff like there's like an earwig nest and everything that I, I dug out of there. I think what I want to do is I want to probably keep most of these trunks. Like what I'm thinking right now is keep most of the trunks. Maybe get rid of some of the smaller ones, like less than one inch in diameter. And have exposed trunk at least up to here. So pretty much any branches that are coming off up to here, I can just cut all those off. And that'll get rid of some of this stuff. I might want to go up a little bit higher though, because up here, this is where they're really starting to branch out and I'll really be able to take some more off if I, if I decide to go up higher, but let's start low and work our way up and we'll see what happens. All right, so we've got a nice pile, <laughs> probably 50% of the tree. Well, maybe about 30% of the tree is already gone, not including like, wood, but like bulk, right? So I'm still not 100% sure what kind of shape I want. I'm just still kind of thinning it out, taking all the dead and smaller branches off. Not all, but most. I'm still leaving some stuff. If I, if I think it's a cool looking branch, I'll leave it there because I could wire it later if that's what I plan on doing. See, see all these like little, these little guys here? I'm just kind of trimming these little dead things off right at the trunk, cleaning out all this trash. There, it's just full of stuff. So this is, this is pretty satisfying actually, this is pretty fun. Yeah, as I work, I'm kinda thinking about what I wanna do next. Just, you know, trimming these little branches off everywhere, Thin it, thinning it out. If there's life on these little branches, I'll leave them, but if there's not, just cut them off. Some of them, even if there is life, just cut them off. Not really sure what I'm doing. This is not a DIY channel, at least not this video, that's for sure. It is fun though. All right, so it's pretty thinned out. The top still needs a lot of work as far as getting the bigger stuff out. But down here, I can actually see through it now and I can get in here and um, just trim these dead branches off as I see them. It's pretty much, now I'm like starting at the end and working my way down keeping like two or three nice healthy branches on each major branch I guess maybe four or five all right well got a lot of juniper trimmings here um, I even cut off a big trunk from down here and this I could see all the way through it now 
Now it has some potential. It's still a little thick up there. And this is just the first stage. Next, I have to shape it. There's quite a bit over here that I I really don't like it because they're in line with the, with the sidewalk and everything. So I might actually chop some of these back all the way down. Matter of fact, I might get rid of both of these at this trunk right here. And then, cause this, cause like I said, I'm gonna pull a lot of these down. And it's gonna widen the whole thing out. But I got most of the dead stuff out of here. There's some, there's still some small stuff here. There's, there's still a lot of small stuff that I can spend another couple hours uh, just trimming the dead stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go get lunch. Yeah, this all has to be. See, now I can just stand here and pick it apart, but we're gonna go get some food. We'll come back. Um, I just wanted to show the big pile before I get rid of it here. All right, I'm back. I got some food and uh, I was looking to see if I can, instead of throwing this stuff away, I was just gonna toss it, but actually what I could do is I can clip these, take little pieces, and I can make more juniper trees so i just take clippings um dip it in like a growth hormone stuff and then put it in like 80 percent perlite 20 percent cocoa core and these things will root and become new trees so i don't want to you know take too much of it but um like something like this it, it looks like it would be great because it has a giant trunk and everything but these are actually not um, ideal to um, to reroute like that to use as clippings, but if I just took the end, these green shoots, they actually grow a lot faster. I just did some used, um, YouTube research and I I learned that. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go over to the store and get some of that growth hormone and stuff, some little pots and stuff, and we can make some actual bonsai. Even though it looks a lot better than it did, I kind of want to. I, th I, th I think it's too much, and I think we want to concentrate all of the energy into one trunk, and just, and I think that'll be great. Because this, this, I mean, I guess it could work if we, I don't know. Again, thinking out loud as I go, I change my mind a lot, so we'll see what happens. But I do want to start my own little uh, uh, propagation thing with these little things these little uh, junipers. That would be awesome. Well, if you've watched my show for more than one episode, you know that I get easily distracted. Let's see what we can find. It's really bad. Oh, there you yeah, go. Get it from underneath. Yeah. Would you say this is from 1915? Mm -hmm. And you're it's part of the what? Rocky Mountain Depression Class Society. There's not very many of us. I'm the youngest member. But good luck. I hope you find some cool things. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's nice. Yeah, yeah. The, um, they call this decoration goofus. I've never actually seen this pattern with these rugs all over it and stuff. That's really neat. Goofus. Yeah. <laughs> when they made this, this stuff scratches off real easy. Is there a maker's mark on the other side? No, they didn't make, they didn't put Fenton marks until the 80s. Nice. on glass but um they said what are they trying to do goofus and it became goofus glass i'm not kidding that's this one so what do you think about this one i think it's made in china made in china yeah but it's yeah, it doesn't glow Blanco glass. yeah that don't glow so are you just learning about yeah glass? yeah I'm, I'm getting into like radioactive minerals and uranium glass and all that okay well i run a group on facebook let me show it to you. It's called Alexandrite Glass. Not a lot of people know about it yet, but if you get into it, you can make a lot of money doing it. It's called Alexandrite Neodymium Glass and Pottery. This is my group. Oh, awesome, dude. And um, the glass, um, so in here, see how it's blue? Yeah. Well, that's because there's cheap fluorescent lights in here that, don't, that aren't multi-spectrum. There's no red in the light. Here. Right. But if you look at other pieces um, in the sun, there's they change colors from blue so maybe we can find one of these. Yeah, let's there's, look there's one. This is the same piece. See that? In different light. In different light. Ah. And so sometimes Did you just you'll, get here? Yeah. yeah sometimes right. you'll <laughs> buy one, get home, it'll be completely A different, different color. Yeah. Do you really? Yeah, check it out. So 
he's looking this up on. You're just doing Google search, right? Yeah. Because he already Google knew search. it was made by Fenton Glass. Yeah, I knew the year, the era. And so he's finding like prices like 100 bucks, 60 bucks, 25 bucks. Yeah, but you want to go to eBay really. Cause, and check some the sold stock listings. at Etsy. See at Etsy, let's see what they want. 50 bucks. So 100 bucks was a little out. Uh, $50 seems a little more like reasonable. But like I'm, I'm going to be selling at the Front Range Glass Show in October. And there'll be collectors and stuff there. There'll be collectors and I can sell this yeah. there yep. and make my money. Heck so. yeah. Mmm. Coffee. All right, so I'm back home. I've got, um, I didn't find anything at the thrift store worth keeping. Although um, that dude with the, uh, that was knowledgeable about glass, he taught me a few things to look for. So that's, that's always good. Um, but I did get some longer cables for these guys here. So I don't have cables here anymore. Now I can build, now I can actually build another set of shelves if I want to, because I have all my power tools running. I can route this stuff, these cables over, everything over to the wall along down around wherever it needs to go um what else did i get here ethernet cable for to get rid of that big looped up thing over there and someone told me to get roller blade office chair wheels so i'm going to go ahead and install those on the bottom of my four by fours so we can wheel this thing around i also got my filter regulator for the air compressor I also got my new um, sliding miter saw blade. And this has got the negative hook angle and it's got a thin kerf and everything. So when I'm cutting wood, it's gonna make a much finer cut. It's not gonna just tear it apart like those Diablo blades. Got some puzzle glue so I can finally get rid of this guy. Put that with that. And I went and purchased some perlite. So, so when I do my juniper uh, propagations, what I need to do is 80% perlite, 20% cocoa core. And I was going to put them in cups. I bought cups. But I'm going to use a flat, like, um, kind of like, or just a, a gallon bucket like this. And just fill it completely with juniper uh, uh, cuttings. And then we'll let that sit for like a year over in the shade on the north slope. And we'll see what happens then. All right, so I've been thinking about this, and uh, I kind of want, want it to have a primary trunk. I want to get rid of, I think, another 50% of this thing. Like, get rid of this entire side and call this the primary trunk. Get rid of this, possibly. I don't know. I don't, we don't need all these trunks. We have, I mean, we already cut off a major one here, a couple big ones here. Um, I mean, this could even be the, this whole thing could be the main trunk. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. And we'll just get rid of this side. Garbage man's coming tomorrow. I did not get rid of anything yet. I do have, you know, some bags out there. I don't want to over, overwhelm the garbage man, but we're only allowed to put so much stuff out per week. Yeah, I'm thinking we can delete this whole side and then we're good with this. One reason is because this is like the front of the tree. And the first thing you see is all these ugly clippings. But if we got rid of it at the base, then that would that would go away. So I'm not gonna do any major cutting yet. I'm gonna think about it for a while. And I'm gonna go ahead and install those wires and everything. I know this video is probably hammer in 10 minutes so i think we're going to call it there hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did let me know in the comments and i'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching